In question number 71, it is given 3 methyl pentuene on reaction with HBr in presence of peroxide forms an addition product. The number of possible stereoisomers for the product is 4 options given number 1, 6, number 2, 0, number 3, 2, and number 4, number 4, 4. Uh, now, let us start the to solve the problem. The first of all, this compound I have to draw the structure. Uh, the structure is this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This compound is 3 methyl, 3 methyl pent 2 in. Uh, it reacts with HBr and H2O2, which gives anti Marconic of product. And according to this, the positive part of the addendum, which is H plus, addendum is HBr, will be attached to it carbon having less number of hydrogen atoms. That means carbon number 3. So, the product is CH3, it is a H, this one, and here Br will be attached carbon number 2. So, this is the product which is called anti Marconica product, it is formed by free radical mechanism. Now, regarding stereochemistry of the product, uh, we know this compound having two chiral centers and as this product does not have symmetry elements. We can say it is non-symmetrical. So, this product has number of stereoisomers 2 to the power 2 which is 4 and the structure of stereoisomers are as follows. We can write its Fisher projections. This is one stereoisomers of the product. Consequently, its enantiomer is possible as it is optically active. Another two are given as follows. So, these are the four answer is correct 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2 are enantiomers, 3, 4 are enantiomers. Metal crystallizes in face centered cubic structure if the edge length of its unit cell is A, edge length of unit cell is A. I have draw one phase of FCC unit cell with edge length A. There is only one phase of FCC unit cell. The question is the closest approach between two atoms in metallic crystal would be closest approach. Closest approach means the atoms that are, uh, that are touching each other. See this atom, the closest atom would uh, be this atom. So, you have been asked to calculate distance between this point and this point this point and this point, this distance you need to calculate in terms of is length A. This distance you have to calculate that is a distance of closest approach. Well, now, you can apply Pythagoras, this is A, this is A and this would be root 2A. So, root 2A would be equal to R plus 2R plus R. Repeating, this is A, this is A, the Pythagoras root 2A, root 2A would be equal to R plus 2R plus R. That is equal to 4R. Now, you need to calculate distance between closest approach. Obviously, that is 2R, R plus R, 2R. So, 4R is root 2A. So, 2R would be equal to 
root 2 a by 2 and that is a by root 2 hence uh, answer to this question would be option 4. Two reactions R1 and R2 have identical pre exponential factor pre exponential factor that is a identical a for the two reactions activation energy of R1 exceeds that of R2 by 10 kilojoule per mole. The activation energy of two reactions is R1 exceed by R2 by 10 kilojoule per mole. If K1 and K2 are rate constants for the reactions R1 and R2 respectively at 300 Kelvin, then ln K2 by K1 is equal to. So, what we need to do is uh, uh, write down the Arrhenius equation. Now, apply Arrhenius equation on the two reactions R1 and R2. For the reaction R1, what would be the Arrhenius equation? K1 is equal to A1 e to the power minus Ea1 over Rt. That is for uh, reaction R1. Now, do the same thing for reaction R2. Apply Arrhenius equation. K2 is equal to A2 e to the power minus Ea1 minus 10 over Rt. Why Ea1 minus 10? Because it is given to you that activation energy of reaction 1 exceeds by activation energy of reaction 2 by 10 kilojoule per mole. You may say that activation energy of reaction 2 is 10 kilojoule per mole is smaller than activation energy of reaction 1. Now, divide equation this is equation 1, this is equation 2, divide 2 by 1. Why 2 by 1? Because you need to calculate ln k2 by k1. If you are going to do that, we get k2 over k1 equal to, since in question it is given to you, so a1, a2 are same, they would be cancelled out and we have is equal to e to the power 10 by rt. Do the simple mathematics, k2 by k1 is equal to e to the power 10 over rt. Now, we need to calculate ln k2 by k1. Now, take the log ln k2 over k1 would be equal to 10 over rt. Now, you need to calculate this numerical value and be careful about the units because this is 10 kilojoule per mole. So, we need to take r in kilojoule per mole and that would be 10 over 8.314 into 10 to power minus 3 that is r and the temperature value is given to you is 300 Kelvin so into 300. Now, you can see that this 10 to power minus 3 into 300 would become 0 0.3, 0 0.3 into 8.314 somewhat close to 2.5, 10 over 2.5 would be equal to 4, 10 over 2.5 equal to 4, hence answer would be option 4, option 4 is the right answer.